And if he asks you if you have degrees, you say, look at me, I'm sizzling. I got a hundred degrees. Hey everyone, welcome back to Beat Bay Beauty. You tired of this quarantine life? Need another job? You ready to work from home? Do you have an online interview? All right, I'm gonna show you what to do. Grab your stuff, let's do this together. So, everybody's in quarantine mode. You gotta start looking at working from home. And of course, when you go on your work from home interview from your house, from the computer, you've got to look bomb. Ain't nobody gonna hire no couch potato. So get up, pull yourself together, and let's get this makeup done. So today we're going in with our P. Louise base in Rumor 3. This one is more of like a, a tan shade as where the one I used before was more of like a white shade. Today I'm going to introduce to you guys a new palette. It's not a new palette, but it's a new one here. It's called And The Winner Is. This one is based off of all the female Grammy winners. So this palette is loaded with shimmers and glitters and just a lot of nice tones. But there's a lot of good neutrals in here that you can use for your job interview. You want them to take you seriously. You want them to say, hmm, that's someone I will hire. So you can't go in there with 12,000 different colors on your eyelid and all over the done. The first shade we're going to use is this tan shade called Adele. We're just going to kind of pop this like right above the crease. Hello from the other side. Must have gone a thousand times. Now when you get ready for this interview, you have to prepare yourself because they are going to ask you questions. So you have to make sure that you have answers. Back into this palette, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the shade Christina. And we're going to blend this in with that nice color Adele. Just to kind of give yourself a pop. pop. Dirty pop. If you don't have an extensive work history, don't be alarmed. It's okay. You tell them you raised two kids, played all your utilities, and had your own subscription to Netflix. And if he doesn't seem impressed, you offer him to use your Netflix. Now remember, we're trying to get a job here, so we're going to keep it simple. But we're going to go into this shade, Barbara. Did you guys know that it wasn't Barbara Streisand? Or was it just me who figured out that it was Barbara? Because you got to be some type of chick to have a name Barbara and not Barbara. We're going to sweep Barbara right towards the front of the eye. Give ourselves a little bit of a shimmer. Then we're going to tap back into Christina and we're going to go ahead and blend it on the outside over here. This is where we're going to put all the drama, over here, on the edge. I'm on the edge of glory. Chances are, chances are, because I wear a silly grin the moment you come into view. Chances are, they're going to ask you about your work history. And maybe you haven't had a lot of jobs. And that's okay, because we've all had a few. And maybe you weren't the best employee. Don't tell him that. Don't mention the time that you skipped out on work to watch the Super Bowl. Don't mention the time that you put your head on the heater so you could have a fever. Don't tell him about the time that you claimed that your child was sick and you had to pick him up from school, but they're two. Don't mention the time that you skipped work because you had to go to your uncle's funeral who died four years ago. Don't tell them about the time you said you couldn't come to work because you had a power outage. Why would you want to stay home? You make him think that you are the most reliable, the most prompt, the most responsible person that he could possibly ever hire for this job. How do you do that? You tell him you put in tons of overtime. You tell him that when Jill called out, you came to work for her. You tell him you only took two days bereavement when you were allowed to have three. 
You tell them you don't celebrate holidays, so you'll come to work. We're gonna take this shade, Tina, and we're just gonna put it right on the edge, on the edge of the eyelid so that you can go ahead and just add a little bit of depth. This will help Pimp to think that you're very intriguing, that you're mysterious, that you probably read novels, short novels. We're gonna move to face. Starting our base off with the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. I'm gonna strategically focus this in my T-zone because when you turn on that camera and you're standing in front of him, you wanna make sure that you're not greasy. It's gonna look that you can't take pressure if you come off looking greasy, so you have to be matte. Make sure you take care of your Whitney Houston sweat. Right there. Get it in. All right, guys, I'm so excited to introduce to you guys our foundation here at NDB Cosmetics. It is the Boom Bastic Foundation, and this is in shade number 13. We're just gonna go ahead and pounce this into our entire face. You pull that wig back and you get all the way up in that hairline, okay? We can move her back. And most importantly, get that neckline. You don't wanna show anybody that you can't play makeup. That's not something you wanna see. Necklines cause bounce checks. Necklines cause toddler tantrums. Necklines cause America's Funniest Videos to still be on the air. Okay, we got a real solid base, so we're gonna move on to concealer. Because the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define makes me look finer than wine, we're gonna use this today. And nowadays, you don't need a resume, so there's no reason for you to bring bags under your eyes. If he's a good interviewer, he's gonna ask you about your weaknesses. You tell them Omari Hardwick, and of course, whipped icing, and your knees in the winter, because we at Chepikins, he will admire your honesty. My nose is looking extra wide today, so we're just going to go ahead and fix it. I will try to fix you. Let's be sure we look our slimmest. So let's drop a couple pounds. And if you like to have a second scoop, drop a couple pounds, drop a couple pounds, drop a couple pounds. And if you're looking like you're overdue, drop a couple pounds, drop a couple pounds, drop a couple pounds. You ever had somebody mistake you for being pregnant just because you were hardy? You can't cheat, child. You can't get even, and you can't get out of the game. You can't get out. Woo! Oh, the game. No, no, no. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and set our face, and we are gonna use air spawn. You should also be given the opportunity to talk about your strengths. So you tell them, I'm funny. I'm snatched. And I'm black. Because honey, in this day, that's a superpower. We are looking like a lunch bowl with the juice box and the nerds. Next, we're gonna go in with our Morphe bronzer. So you're gonna need some references. Put my name down, I got your boo. And for the other one, you call that friend that you would clock in, even though she was late, not on time. That friend who always borrowed money even though y'all got paid on the same day. That friend who always needed a ride to work and never gave you a single dime of gas money. That friend who took the flowers off your desk that Roberto left you and said that they were for her. That friend who ate your lunch out of the fridge because she forgot hers. We gon' fight. 
Because understand, she owes you. And her, more than anyone else on God's green, should help. But don't tell her what job you're applying for, because you know good and well she'll be trying to get it too. You wait till you on payroll. Today we're going to go into the Crayon Case Watch Me Blush Palette. I love myself some orange blush. So we're going to use that today. And you let her know you didn't forget about that time we went to that function and she didn't have no dress so she borrowed your black dress out of your closet and she still ain't returned it and it's been eight months. You go get your dress. And it's going on the nose. We're going to go ahead and use our Ofra highlight in Glow Goals. Now with highlighter, you can negotiate your pay. If he offers you something that ain't for you, you bust out in a song and say, ha <laughs> You sing that Maxwell. <laughs> this woman's work. This woman's work. Oh, it's hard on a man. And then he knows that you're worth more than what he's offering you. That you're fully content to take your talent elsewhere. Because this highlighter is not going to be wasted on just anyone. Does this look like minimum wage highlighter? This is premium. Matter of fact, I want what you make. Remember, we're going to keep it professional, so we're going to use our Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Mystic Moon. Now we're going to go ahead and do our wings. Wings will get you insurance. Wings will get you 401k. Wings will get you stock. Wings will get you a discount card. Wings will get you bitcoins. Next we're going in with lashes and we're going to use the paw lashes from the Indie Beat mixtape collection. Looks like that. Pick it up. Now like with most jobs, there's probably going to be a background check. So you want to be sure to disclose anything you think may keep you from getting the job. Whether it's that co-worker that we talked about who ate your lunch and you popped her upside the head. Or that customer who found out the hard way that they were not indeed right. Or that time you keyed Jill's car because she parked crooked and you blamed it on the shopping carts. He can only appreciate your honesty. To set her face, we're going to use the Milani Make It Last. Make it last forever. Now make sure you snatch that wig. You're also going to need a few accessories. Grab your bougiest sweater and your baddest shades. And if he asks you if you have degrees, you say, look at me, I'm sizzling. I got a hundred degrees. And hunty, that job is yours. And this is the finished look. So if you guys are looking for that nice quarantine job and you need help with that job interview, I'm your girl. Wait, before you go, you need to subscribe. Hit your notifications so that you can know when my next video comes. It's going to be real soon and you're not going to want to miss it. I'm going to give you a minute. Got it? Oh, did you learn from the last one? I'm, I'm really going to give you a minute. You got it? All right, bye.